Hey there guys and welcome to another episode of Exercise Therapy You know, with myself, Coach Navar And of course, yourself uh, The friends and family are made for more So thank you for joining us here today on this beautiful day I just want to say how grateful I am for life, for being alive For, for having energy and a positive outlook for life um, I'm really, really grateful for that, guys, and I hope that you um, are going to say something that you are grateful for today as well before we get started. <clears throat> right, guys, moving on for today's topic. As you know, this month we've been covering uh, relationship management as a, as a topic for this month. And today's theme, we're going to look at what is organizational awareness, okay? And I'm I know this may sound like a fancy word used for people who work in the corporate setting, but the broad, there's a broad overlook on organizational awareness. And what it basically is, is your ability to be aware um, of energy flows, of hierarchies, of certain leaders within a group setting, whether it be colleagues at an office, whether it be teammates on a sports team, um, whether you, it be people who are working towards a common goal, um, whether it be the, 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 the setting, the organization of your household, and, and basically organizational awareness is being able, within those groups, is, reali uh, is being aware of certain politics that may be going on in a group, and maybe you can identify a leader or, or, or um, conflict within that group as well um, so and, and you can identify perhaps relationships within that group as well and now so that's what being organizational aware is is realizing all these little bits uh, excuse me of of relationships energy flows that are happening within certain groups um, right guys so that's what it is let me give as so example if you're in a household um, you know that the, the head of the household is perhaps your dad um, some households maybe it's the mom um, but you know who the head of the household is because you are aware of what's happening in that social setting um, maybe you're aware of a certain relationship in in the household and uh, maybe your brother and your sisters are really close um, perhaps mom and dad are, are also close or maybe aunt and uncle and mom and aunt and uncle are, are, are having a bit of tension something like that that is being organizational aware guys with inner settings so you can realize all right guys so now without further ado we're going to go on into exercise therapy and just for your awareness we aren't going to use any equipment today we are going to be focusing on upper body today so uh hop on with me let's get warmed up throwing away that cushion and I want you to get up onto your feet all right uh, so we can begin our warm-up alrighty guys so for the warm-up first what we're going to do is we're going to do our forward rolls okay you can do this on your knees or on or sitting but we're going to do forward rolls going forward and all the way up above your head and down let's go forward rolls all the way up and down, there we go, that's two, forward rolls, up, and down, good, that's three, keep going, awesome, and four, well done, and five, good, and six, well done, keep rolling forward, keep rolling forward, seven, keep rolling forward, eight, and nine, last one, forward, and stop at the top. Good job, well done. All right, guys, next warm up, what you're going to do is uh, we're going to stand with your legs nice and wide apart. Uh, if you are on your knees, and what you're going to do is we're going to lean on this side and touch the ground and go to that side. Okay, guys, all right, if you're on your knees, what you're doing is this stretching out as far as you can, coming back to the middle, and stretching out as far as you can to the side. All right, guys, you ready? Let's go 12 and 1. Two, nice quick side movements, three, and four, good, and five, bend your knee, good, six, and other side, seven, eight, good, nine, and ten, two more, eleven, 
and 12. Well done. Awesome stuff, guys. Right, now what you're going to do is get your hands together like, like you're praying. And you're going to squeeze your hands together and you're going to touch your shoulders, all right? You're going to touch each shoulder. We're going to do 20. Let's go. One, two, hands together. Three, four, touch your shoulders. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, keep your hands together, and 20, good job. Well done, guys. All right, next what we're going to do is, um, on your knee, on your feet, you're gonna go one foot forward, a hand, one foot back, hands on your hip, and we're going to count one foot forward, and you're gonna switch, other foot back, just like that, one foot forward, other foot back, okay. So we're going to switch. All right, shuffle, all right, are you ready? Let's go 20, and let's go one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Well done, guys. Good stuff. Twenty. <coughs> right. Legs wide apart again. Legs wide apart. Hands, hands together. What you're going to do is lean, touch as far forward as you can. One, touch in the middle, between your knee, and all, all the way back as far as you can go. Okay, so forward, middle, back. And let's go. Forward, middle, back. Forward, middle, back. Forward, middle, back. Well done. Forward, middle, back. Forward, middle, back. Well done. Let's go four more. Forward, middle, back. Forward, middle, back. Two more. Forward, middle, back. And last one. Forward, middle, and back. Good job, guys. So that was a nice back and a hamstring stretch. Good stuff. Now what we're going to do is, right, once you get into a, your starting punching start, and what we're going to do over here is we're going to go punch right across your body, okay? Right hand across. To your shoulder can you see that side and you're going to punch across two and then you're going to go kick and kick right that's one so we go punch punch kick kick well done and punch punch kick and kick well done let's go again punch punch and kick and kick other side well done punch punch and kick and kick let's go another one punch punch kick and kick one more Punch, punch, kick, and kick. Well done. Good stuff, guys. Awesome. Now we should be warmed up. I'm building up a bit of a sweat, which is good. Now that we know we're warm, let's do some stretches, okay? What I want you to do is grab both your hands behind your back, lock them, and can you see? Bounce my bum. And what you're going to do is lean forward with your legs slightly apart. And lift your hand up as high as you can and hold that position. Good. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come up. Good job. All right, stay to the side. What you're going to do is front and back claps. Let's do 15. Okay, one, two, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good stuff. Okay, facing me now. You're going to do our choo-choo train. So get our, our choo-choo train going and do forward sh shoulder rolls for ten seconds. Let's go as fast as you can for ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and freeze. Good job. Now we're going to go reverse. Okay, reverse. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> it almost feels like I'm a, a dancer over there. Hey guys, hey, some cool dance moves. <laughs> 
Right, good stuff, guys. <clears throat> right, last one. What I want you to do is take your arm right apart, open your arms nice and wide. Uh, your hand should be facing me, open like that. Not down, not up, but facing me. And what you're going to do is flap your arms as far back as you can, trying to pinch your shoulder blades together. All right, let's do that for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. All right, shake it out, guys. Awesome stuff. Now we're ready to go into the workout. If you have a towel, wipe yourself. Quickly grab a sip of water, and let's get into the main exercise. Cool, guys. So I'm going to bring you down a bit because today we're going to be working a lot on the ground. So get onto your knees, or your bum, and let's take it a little bit down. All right, there we go. Okay, guys, so I'm on my knees. Um, for this exercise, what you're going to want to do is uh, sit on your knees and your bum. And what we're going to do is we're going to alternate from right to left. Okay? And how it looks is you put both your hands down to the side. Okay? And you're going to push yourself up and go both hands flat to the side and go back. Right, that's two. Right, we're going to do 12 of those alternating. Side to side, and this is for our obliques as well as our chest and shoulders. So let's go hands down, side, let's go one, two, hands flat down, three, four, as far to the side, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and Wow, good stuff, good stuff guys. So, now some bleak warm-ups, we're going to do that one again after this. Next exercise, what you're going to do is again on your knees, you're going to stand up, sit up tall, and you're going to fall forward, get your chest all the way to the ground, and bring yourself back up. All right, we're going to do 12 of those, okay? Fall forward, and push yourself back up. That's one. Good. And two. Good. And three. If you want extra help, you can keep your, your feet against the wall. Or you can even put weights or uh, something heavy on your legs to keep you stable. Okay? And five. Good. Try and keep your back as straight as possible. Like that. There we go. Six. Good. If your knees are hurting, you can always use that. Uh, a yoga mat or a towel under your knees. Let's go, guys. Good. Seven. And eight. And done. Nine. And ten. Remember, break your fall with your hands, okay, guys? Slowly down and push up. Eleven. Last one. And twelve. Well done. Okay, guys. Right, now we're going to go back to the previous exercise again, sitting flat. We're going to do 12, 12 twists, okay? And let's go. Slide inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good, eight, Nine and ten. Eleven. Last one. Twelve. And back to the middle. Well done, guys. Good. Really, really good. Now we're not going to do push-ups again. Instead, what we're going to do is now we're going to fall into a plank position. Okay? On your knees. And, or if you're feeling strong enough, you can most definitely go into a full plank where your bum is and your knees are off the ground. Right, I'm going to do these ones on my knees. Show you guys, in the plank, keep your back straight. Good. Now what you're going to do is twist one hand, look up and back down, hands together, swap to the other side and back down. Right, these are called plank twists. So we're going to do 12 of them. Let's go one, 
and look to the sky. Two to the sky. Three to the sky. And four. Five. I'm gonna go a bit faster. Six. Good job. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Last one. And twelve. Well done, guys. Good stuff. Right, sit back, relax, breathe. Whew. Stretch out your chest a bit. You can do those um, scapular squeezes again, shoulder squeezes. We just pump it out just to stretch your chest. Good. <clears throat> right, are you ready for the next one? Awesome. For this next move, what we're going to do is lay flat on your tummy. Okay. I'm going to keep my legs up like this, flat on your tummy. And you're going to put your hands right under your right under your chest and all you're going to do is push up into a cobra and come down they call this a move all right let's call it a king cobra all right and back down your hands don't move all right here we go and push again holding back well done that's two three back down all the way down Four, good, all the way down, five, all the way down, and six, good job, don't move your hands, seven, lock them, nice and straight, good, and eight, nine, you're only going to do ten, good, and last one, flat, flat, and ten. Good, and you can take a rest again. Good stuff, guys. Well done. Really, really good. Now, you may feel some stiffness in your back. That's because that move, as much as it's a chest exercise, almost like a push up, we're also working our lower back. Good. All right, on to the next move, guys. Here, you're going to want to lay flat on the ground, get your feet up. Okay. And what you're going, you're going to get your hands nice in front of you, chest off the ground. And we're going to, this is how it goes. One, keep your hands in front of you and try and touch your feet. One, if you can't, go knees or touch your bum. And hands together and forward, all right? So let's go. We're going to do 15, okay? Let's see. And let's go up. Go. Touch your feet. One, forward, two. Three. It's like we're swimming. And four. Good. Five. Six. Well done. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Well done. You can touch your bum. There you go. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Last one. Fifteen. Good. Now relax guys, relax, take a breather again. Okay, for this one, I want you to roll over onto your back. Roll over onto your back. Good. Okay, roll over onto our back. All right guys, there's two ways we can do this. It's similar to a twist, okay? So, either sitting on your bum, okay? Hands behind your back, you're leaning on your hands. And we're going to twist one and two. That's one option, okay? Another option is put your feet down, bum up while balancing on your feet and your hands. Okay, grab one, on to our other hand, two. All right, let's go at 15. Let's go one and two. Three, keep your bum nice and high. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, and relax, and relax. Well done, guys. Super, super stuff. Awesome, guys. Right, that was the main session, guys. Uh, I hope you're feeling like you got a nice, good workout. Not too sore. 
Um, we're just going to do a back stretch right now. So on your bum, feet in front of you. Okay, legs straight. And I want you to try and grab your feet and get your head as close to your knees as possible. And we're going to hold that for 10 seconds, okay? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Try and get as close to your toes as possible. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay. Bring both knees in. Arms around and squeeze. Squeeze tightly, squeeze tightly, make yourself into a ball and hold that for 10, 9, 8. Squeeze the whole time, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. Release, release, good. Okay, legs nice and wide apart. Awesome. Okay, what you're going to do is slowly we're going to try and touch out. Toes, okay. Let's go just nice and slowly, just for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. While we're sitting. Grab one arm right across your body, hook your other arm by your elbow and pull. So we're just stretching our shoulders over here. Pull four, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Wide. Other side. Remember guys, catch your breath and squeeze. Pull back. Ten. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, relax, and let's roll our wrists out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, and go the other way. Five, four, three, two, one, and give yourself a clap. Well done, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today on this exercise therapy video. I hope you guys are going to feel stronger and that you're going to practice your organizational awareness. Look, up, look for those cues, guys. Read people's body language. Um, listen to what people are saying, how they're communicating with one another. And that should help you to, to pick up on organizational awareness and be more aware uh, going down the future. Anyway, do join us for Crafty Tuesdays tomorrow. Look forward to seeing you again. And of course, our Friday Live Monday Challenge on Facebook this Friday. Have an awesome, awesome week. See you soon. Bye.